Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, well, it's going to be a different kind of video. I mean, every once in a while, you encounter a video that, well, you just got to scratch your head and wonder what these idiots are thinking. Which brings me to this guy, the frauditor known as the Hard Tard. And he seems to be having a bit of a mental breakdown, if he ever had a mental status to begin with, about his analytics on his channel. As he proposes a conspiracy theory that he thinks is viable, where it points out that people are, well, bringing his channel down down and uh, well if you know anything about the youtube analytics system well you'll see that there's no way he can see that on there so let's go ahead and sit back relax and enjoy the show another hard stalker attack so easy to see i'm doing well getting i got out of the side cold and then I have a hit, and it takes off, and then they false flag the account, and it drops to levels lower than it was before the hit. So, you know, 1200 in a day, down to 200 for the whole channel. Well, dude, those just look like normal peaks and valleys that I experience every day on my damn channel. Because you get days where you don't get many views, and you get days where you have... Uh, rather large peaks in the uh, daily view count. I mean, just take a look at my 28-day uh, scale right here on my analytics. You can see all those peaks and valleys. Now, when we switch it to the 90-day view, you can see the exact same thing, dude. They peak out and they go down. They peak out and they go down. That's just how it works, dude. So get used to it. There's no conspiracy theory about it. It's just the way the system works because there's days where people want to watch and there's days where people just don't give a damn or they just don't have the time to watch and just don't watch your channel. There is no conspiracy theory about it. It's just the way it operates because, you know, sometimes people just want to go out and do something other than hang around on YouTube all damn day long. Uh, so, it just, oh, wait, you can see here where it happens. It's partway through one hour. Tanks. It's a flag attack. Oh, come on now, dude. Are you really that damn stupid? All these years on YouTube and you haven't figured out that that is the hourly counter Every one of those bars represents a single hour within a 48-hour period on your channel. And by hovering over each one of those bars, it can tell you how many views you had in that particular hour right there, dude. It doesn't mean that somebody's attacking you. It's just like I said, how the system runs. I mean, you can see that little peak right there. It's probably right around a prime time that uh, people like to watch your channel and uh, they move on i mean you don't have that many subscribers to begin with dude compared to somebody like my channel who has uh eight thousand ab and above i mean you, you'll see something like this on mine where those peaks right there can represent upwards of two thousand views per bar as far as the peaked out ones and some of the other ones at the very bottom can be as low as three to four hundred views in an hour so my guess is like i said before people watch your content and uh, they just move on to something else it happens all the damn time there's no conspiracy to it it's just part of the gig dude you make a video People watch it, and they want something more from you. You keep providing them content to keep them interested. There's no conspiracy theory about it, dude. It's just the way things work. This has been going on for eight years, and I still have some success. But it takes a concentrated group of people lying and manipulating to silence me and take my freedom of speech. Because they think it's an insult to their freedom of speech that I don't like them let them talk about child sex on my channel. 
My channel is about service dog rights and then my life. They're not welcome here at all. <sighs> and when they make their own channels, they cannot impersonate. They cannot do libel and slander. They can't do hate speech. I have nothing to do with them. I just want them out of my life. And I've done everything a human being can be expected to have tried to get them to leave me alone. And that didn't work. So time for some extreme shit. Dude, have you ever stopped to consider that your content may not be what everybody likes or that, uh, well, maybe you should uh, um, change your tactics to suit your audience or something like that? I mean, go on more live streams with other people and start talking or uh, act like you are a member of the community a lot more and maybe just maybe change up your content a little bit more. Maybe you'll get a larger subscriber base and you'll see your numbers go up. You'll see those, you'll still see those peaks and valleys, but you'll know that you'll have a higher view count at the very least. I mean, at least try something else, dude, other than acting like it's one big damn conspiracy. But I guess since you uh, are a conspiracy theorist anyway, in this particular case, I would say that'd be uh, damn near impossible for you to pull off. So I might be wasting my breath on this part, but at least I gave you the advice if you should ever see this video. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope this gave you an insight, a little bit of an insight into the... Uh, backstage analytics of YouTube. Uh, if it did, I am happy to do so. I'm happy to accommodate you. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.